Okay, so welcome to Tinnitus Pal. Welcome, here we are. I'm inside your computer, we're inside Tinnitus Pal. Fantastic, I wanna thank you for joining. I'm very, very excited to have you here. Perhaps you've had a chance to look at the different features and the tracking in the members area and the live streams, um, everything else. I'm very, very excited to have you here. So this is the, I want you to look at this as kind of like the introduction to beating tinnitus. Now, maybe you have some of my other courses, maybe you have Light or Triumph Over Tinnitus 3 or Silence. It doesn't matter. If you have them, that's amazing. If you don't have them, that's fine. I'm going to give you an introduction to tinnitus here. Now, here's the first thing that I want to talk about, and this is very, very important to understand. And what we're going to talk about first is, you know, people would think, okay, how do I beat tinnitus or, you know, what kind of, what's the special stuff or the special source or, you know, what if I got tinnitus this way? Is there a certain thing I should do? What should I do first? Yeah, people say, what's the most effective thing I should do? And we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But the first thing that we actually should talk about is answering the question, how long is this going to take? Maybe you've had tinnitus for three months and you think, okay, Liam, well, I've only had tinnitus for three months, so I just have to reverse three months of tinnitus. Or perhaps let's take, for example, someone else has had tinnitus for eight months. And that person says, okay, well, I've had tinnitus for eight months, so I have to reverse eight months worth of tinnitus, right? So it's gonna be harder for me, isn't it? Than that person who's had it for three months. And let's imagine a third person comes into the equation uh, who's had tinnitus for 10 years. And if you've seen my, my videos and my testimonials, perhaps you've seen my video of Lacey, a fantastic woman uh, who had tinnitus for 10 years and she now has silence. Those people, you'd line them up and any person might say, okay, well, you know, it's gonna be harder for Lacey because she had it for 10 years, gonna be super hard. Uh, the person who's had it for, for uh, eight months, as I said in the middle, sort of, is gonna be, you know, kind of hard. And the person for three months, oh, it's gonna be a walk in the park right? You'd think that, but you would actually be wrong. Because if you've seen my presentations and you've seen my courses and my recent YouTube videos, you would have seen how I spoke about the domino theory. The domino theory basically outlines the fact that we're not reversing the one thing that caused your tinnitus, that contributed towards your tinnitus. You know, people who have an ear infection say, what do I put in my ear? People who crack their neck poorly or get a concussion think, what kind of physiotherapy should I have? And people who get tinnitus from emotional trauma, uh, you know, loss in the family, things like that, they would think, okay, well, I have to go and see a therapist or I have to go and, you know, relax my nervous system. And look, I'm not saying you shouldn't do any of those things. In fact, I implore you to do those things. Kill the viruses, get emotional therapy, get help, uh, and get physiotherapy. But don't just focus on those one things. Remember, all of the things that contribute to tinnitus, which I just said, and also mold, parasite, stress, posture problems, blue light, which I'm baked in right now, lack of sunlight, uh, excessive um, eating too many vegetables and green smoothies or oxalates, they all contribute to mitochondrial dysfunction. They all do. So we have to remove all these different things. So if you, for example, the person who has gotten tinnitus for, for eight months, let's say, let's say they got tinnitus from, mm, let's say a knock to the head. Let's say it's that kind of person. The thing is, what you need to look at is their life before. Perhaps they were drinking a green smoothie every day. Perhaps they smoked and drank marijuana every week. Um, perhaps they were stressed out about something. Perhaps they had a mold infection in their room as well they didn't know about. Perhaps they were staying up until 3 a.m. three nights a week watching Netflix or whatever people are doing. Perhaps they were using Bluetooth headphones as well. So you see how it stacks on. And all those things that I just mentioned represent dominoes that are building on top of each other, on top of each other, until the final one falls and you get tinnitus. And that final one was the concussion, the knock to the head. But it could have been as well a loss in the family and it could have just as easily have been an ear infection. It doesn't matter. It's just the final domino and only focusing on those final dominoes is, is incorrect. So what we're doing is with all these people, the three people I mentioned, we got 10 years, okay? We have eight months and we have uh, three months, right? So all of those people, their tinnitus could be just as hard to get rid of as each other. 
because of their history and what was happening before the onset of their tinnitus. For all we know, all three of them, for 12 years each, they've been building up that mitochondrial dysfunction, that mold problem, that parasite overflow, been spending too much time under blue light, okay? And we, we're not reversing eight months of tinnitus. We're not reversing three months of tinnitus. We're not reversing 10 years of tinnitus. We're reversing all the time that they spent and all the different things that they did that contributed to their tinnitus. So if you've had tinnitus for two months, your tinnitus might not necessarily be, um, it, you, it might not be easier to get rid of than a person who's had it for five years. I have people who've had tinnitus for three months. It took them a year to get rid of. And I've had people who got, had tinnitus for 10 years, like Lacey, it took them three months to get rid of. So however long you've had tinnitus for, it's irrelevant. It really is. I know people say, oh, once you've had it for two years, it's chronic and the brain rewind. We won't swear. BS. It's nonsense. It's total nonsense. All that matters is what you've done, understanding what you've done, and then reversing them. Okay? That's all that matters. So when it comes to how long will this take, my answer really is follow the advice, follow it slowly, follow it safely, do it consistently, and then when you get silence, you can tell me. Okay?